hearing next month. Lady Justice Dora Chepkorn granted the orders after petitioner Michael Mushemi sought conservatory orders to stop the implementation of the 2022 elections audit as recommended by the report and restrain parliament from holding any sitting on the implementation of the NADCO report. Apollo Kamau tells us more. It has officially been presented. Amid a slow takeoff on the implementation of the National Dialogue Committee report by Parliament, the Kiambu High Court has slammed brakes on the report's implementation after petitioner Michael Mushemi moved to the court seeking orders to stop its implementation. Mushemi, in his prayers, wants the court to stop the Senate and the National Assembly from holding any sitting on the report for recommending the audit of the 2022 presidential results, arguing the audit of the presidential election results is a preserve of the Supreme Court. Mugambi, in his petition, wants the recommendation on the audit of the results be expunged from the report for being unconstitutional. While granting the orders, the court directed all the parties to appear in court on April 16th. The NADCO report would task the majority and minority leadership in parliament to appoint a special panel 21 days after the adoption of the report by parliament that will consist of six experts, three from each side. I believe the NADCO report is top priority. Anytime a meeting is called, whether during recess or otherwise, I will leave everything else I'm doing and I will attend. Since its adoption by parliament, the NADCO report, which has a 45-day deadline, has raised concerns from the Azimio camp after the Joint Committee of the Justice and Legal Affairs of the Senate and the National Assembly continues to drag its feet in drafting a work plan on the implementation of the report. The laxity has already costed the country the right to delimitation of constituency boundaries and a new REBC, which are past the deadline as MPs delay on the report. Apul Kamau, TV47.